But starting the night off was we go to the back and there is Wardlow making his big entrance and he is challenging Scorpio Sky in a street fight for the TNT championship. Uh, I guess at some point here, Excalibur did reference MJF and yet all these people buzzing. What what could that mean? He said MJF. Well, it meant nothing. Uh, So Wardlow did his big entrance and Scorpio Sky comes out flanked by, um, I guess, I, I, I would question if they were card carrying members of American top team, though I did recognize uh, Kevin Matthews there uh, KM, KM. In, in impact. Um, the rest could not uh, pick out of a lineup, but I, I don't know if they were uh, full fledged uh, ATT members. Guess I'm going to assume they didn't fly any actual ATT members up from Florida. I don't think maybe, so. Maybe just found somebody in the local area or people who are willing to make the drive from the uh, independent wrestling scene to take some of those bumps, but uh, sure. Whatever they got, they got the, the the tank tops, you know, like looked official what, enough. What we needed were stationary targets for Wardlow to lift and and send into orbit. That's what <laughs> these people were were filling a role of. And they did bring up right at the beginning this being Brody Lee's hometown and his connection to the TNT championship. And Dan Lambert slaps Wardlow on the back. And then the uh the ATT guys all stand in the way. And this allows Sky to send Wardlow into the steps, getting the heat as they go over the break. Uh Sky then gets sent to the mat and Wardlow hits a swanton. And from this moment on, I mean, this crowd was just all behind Wardlow. Um, the last six weeks were just Let's go back to how hot this guy was going into the uh, Double or Nothing show. Red hot crowd for Wardlow down the stretch here, and he just destroys everybody. The uh, he hit, he goes for the power bomb. The ATT guys run in, and he wrecks shop on these individuals. Military presses one dude to the rest on the floor, turns around, and Sky nails him with a belt shot for a two count. Then Wardlow stops a TKO, runs Sky into Dan Lambert on the apron. The straps come down. One power bomb, two power bombs, three power bombs, and he just stands on top of Scorpio Sky for the clean win. And Wardlow is your new TNT champion. And this crowd went nuts for this. Oh, they did. Yeah, I mean, they saw a title change. I mean, for Wardlow, I think it's in his story arc. It's it's the culmination of a several months journey. Um, it was a much more straightforward match than I expected. You know, despite all these shenanigans here with the, with the street fight, but. I was um, wondering this afternoon whether or not they would be continuing this feud because I think Scorpio Sky is a TNT champion. To me, he hasn't necessarily achieved a whole lot. You know, he he's had that feud with Sammy Guevara, which I think has been at this point universally pained and hasn't really had any significant, I would say, defenses or feuds beyond that. And, and, so and, was, that, and, and has been hurt, too. So the, mm-hmm. who knows how much that has interrupted things. And so for that reason, I wondered if they would keep the belt on him a little bit longer, have Wardlow chase a little bit before actually getting the victory. But instead, this was about as straightforward of a Wardlow win as we would expect, you know, along with, of course, some uh, putty patrol uh, spots that that you know, will always work incredibly well for him. And I thought we're very well done here. But then just, you know, Powerbomb Symphony, one, two, three, clean win. And maybe this is for the better because Wardlow ultimately is your big project and to keep him strong, even with the championship win here, maybe is the more important goal. Um, so uh, it, it completely connected with this crowd and, and and they cheered him as if, you know, he was as hot as the MJF feud. Yeah. I, 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 I like Scorpio sky a lot and I think he um, d- didn't fully benefit from this, this whole TNT championship. And I think there were several factors that you, you listed uh, that that affected it, but you know Wardlow felt like the big star, and I would say I'm not going to say this was the best match on Dynamite, but I did think this was the most effective thing on the show because Wardlow, um, you you could argue that he was certainly just kind of in this holding pattern the last few weeks, and tonight just felt like snap their fingers and we have this this big monster. He wins. The crowd went nuts for it. I don't think you could have asked for a better outcome here in terms of how he was received from this audience and m- moving ahead now you know, feels like a player in this company. They gave you a big confetti celebration. The visual at the end was really wonderful. And now you have a bit of an excuse to bring back the TNT Open Challenge with him being a TNT champion as a babyface. And he can essentially continue these squash matches for a long, long time until he gets hot enough for the crowd to demand him. And and until maybe the company feels that he's ready for something beyond the TNT championship, which, of course, would be the world championship at that point. 
but um, it, it, it kind of adds a, a bit of a longer lease on this Wardlow formula of match that we've developed up until this point. Yes. I'm not going to fall into the, the trap we have for the intercontinental title whenever someone new wins it and we say, oh, they should have a real long reign to now really, you know, reestablish this title. Uh, the TNT title, let, let's let's see how much time he gets with this thing. Yeah. Like, I mean, a lot of quick runs we've had this year, haven't oh, we? Oh, dude, dude, I could never go through the title lineage of the TNT title from this year alone. Mm-hmm. It's just been all over the place. Yeah.